friends for over 20 years at this point. She's more than a friend. She's my best friend and she's truly my sister to the point that my own mother openly says Megan is her favorite child. <laughs> Being friends for so long, of course you get protective of the people that you love. So when Jacob came into Megan's life, I had to know if this person was worthy of her. Who was this person that Megan was willing to move to Virginia for, even if they were back in DC just a few months later? My first impression of Jacob actually came from my mom, because being the very caring friend that Megan is, she and Jacob made a point to have dinner with my mom twice in Indiana to win her favor before I ever even met him. <laughs> I'm going to call him Jake, but depending on when you met him, you could have several names for him. Jake, Figs, Figgy, Jacob, a couple other things that I won't get into here. <laughs> we came up together in a small school, so bad news for him, the friend pool was a bit shallow. When we started playing sports together, he kind of got just stuck with me. Jake was and is the sort of guy that always made a way for our friendship to continue, no matter where we were in our life. He has always had my back, has always been there to work things out, was always good for a laugh, and most importantly, he could always be counted on to yell Freebird at any event with music or a DJ. As the poet Robin Rihanna Fenty once said, we found love in a hopeless place, and what a love it has been. I've never felt so happy and whole than I have from being with you. I go to sleep feeling like the luckiest man in the world, and I wake up knowing that I am. These past few years have been so full of fun adventures near and far. I couldn't have asked for a better partner to be quarantined inside with, or to fly to parts unknown. And now we made a beautiful home together with your great sense of decoration and my great sense of saying yes to whatever you want. <laughs> I can't wait to see what adventures our future holds, but I promise to support you throughout whatever ups and downs and flight delays may come. It doesn't seem like life can get much better when I already have you by my side. I promise to be your biggest cheerleader, an even greater fan than I am for Purdue. <laughs> and I will forever root for you and support you. It's a simple kind of love The kind that always fills my cup and Did I mention that it's free? We could stay here simple truly We could watch your favorite movie Cause
the judgment We could keep it on a budget We got everything that we need So we could take a longer walk And I worry about all the extra stuff And did I mention that it's free? We're so happy to welcome Jacob to our family. Tom always wanted a son. <laughs> but after I had Megan, I said, that's it. <laughs> person that I turn to for advice. I don't know if everyone is this lucky, but when Megan gives me advice, she has the tendency to intentionally or not do it in the form of song lyrics. <laughs> so since a happy wife means a happy life, I thought I would give Jacob a few pieces of advice for being married to Megan inspired by song lyrics. <laughs> I'm not singing. I'm not singing. <laughs> Number one. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. As a general rule for keeping Megan happy, I strongly recommend against trying to take her hiking, camping, or really on any outdoor activity. We are family. I've got all my sisters with me. Marrying Megan means you've also married into the posse. For better or worse, I apologize for the nights that you have ahead of you drinking at Harry's, listening to us recount the same stupid stories from high school over and over and over again. Give me that Like a phone. 